Hello, my name is Teresa Marzulli. I'm a senior hospital scientist and I work in the haematology department at the Children's Hospital at Westmead. At some point when you visit your doctor, they may request a test called a FBC for full blood count or CBC, which stands for complete blood count. This is a very common test that is used by many doctors and it gives the doctor a very good overview of what's happening in your blood. What they're looking for is they're looking at your white cells, red blood cells and platelets. And within those groups, there are different components that can give the doctor lots of information about various disease states or very common conditions that you may encounter. So when your doctor orders a full blood count, it goes to a laboratory where it's then put through an analyzer or a machine. This analyzer then separates your blood into different components. And one of those components is your white blood cells. Your white blood cells contains neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. And these are your fighting mechanisms of your body. So these are really important to fight infection and inflammation. Sometimes these um, cells will be high in number or they'll be low in number. And it really depends on what's going on. Why did you go and see a GP? For instance, if you have um, glandular fever or you have some sort of infection, your white cell count tends to be high and you may have a high number of neutrophils. The other component of your full blood count are your red cells. And when you're looking at your red cells, the doctor is looking at the haemoglobin. Is it high or is it low? It could be high if you happen to be dehydrated, but low if you're iron deficient or have thalassemia or in some sort of infections. Also, part of your red cells, we're looking at your red cell count, so your total count. We're looking at the mean cell volume or MCV, and that determines the size of your red blood cells, which can be large, in which case we call them macrocytic, and they can be large with certain conditions such as B12 deficiency, which is quite common, or liver disease. They can be small in certain disorders such as iron deficiency, or if you have thalassemia. The other components of your full blood count is your platelets. Platelets give the doctor lots of information regarding bleeding or bruising or whether you have some sort of clotting disorder. When you get your blood test results, you might find that some results are high or low, or they may be color coded red or yellow. This isn't something to be necessarily alarmed about. It's very important that you go and visit your doctor who will reassure you and will describe further what this means. This could be normal for you or it could mean that there is in fact something happening with your body that warrants further investigation. The full blood count is a very common test, but as well as being a good screening test, it's also used in some hospital settings. For example, here at the Children's Hospital Westmead, we use the full blood count to diagnose certain disease states such as leukemia, aplastic anemia, pancytopenia, as well as infections and inflammation. When the analyzer performs a full blood count, if it's completely normal, the doctor will receive their result. However, sometimes the analyzer may flag some results as being abnormal. This then warrants further investigation, and usually that's in the form of a blood film. That blood film is then looked at under the microscope by the scientists. And under the microscope, the scientists can look in more detail at the size, the shape, even sometimes the color of the cells to give a better understanding and a better indication of what's actually happening in your blood. After the scientist has looked at it, they may then decide that it warrants further investigation by a haematologist. And this is really a blood specialist. The haematologist will then provide a report to the doctor.